Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and we are going to continue with Chapter 14, and today this is my Periodic Trends Review and a few practice problems. So, for starters, uh, remember that an element's position in the periodic table um, is dictated by its electron configuration, and the periodic table is broken down into blocks according to sublevels. So remember that uh, there's an S block on the periodic table where the S sublevel is filling, and then there's the P block where the P sublevel is filling. The transition elements are the D block, and the inner transitions represent the F block. So the trends that we're following are atomic radius, ionization energy, electronegativity, and metallic character. So starting with atomic radius, it is the size of an atom, and the radius decreases from left to right across a period, and that is because of the increased nuclear charge, and it increases down a group, and that is because of the shielding effect. So when you're explaining why a periodic trend occurs, whether it's increasing or decreasing from left to right, the key phrases are, for instance, for radius, it decreases in size because of the increased nuclear charge, and it increases down a group because of shielding. So the two causes are typically nuclear charge and shielding. Ionization energy is the energy needed to remove an electron. Um, it increases from left to right across a period, and the reason it increases is because of the increased nuclear charge. As the pull of the nucleus increases, it's harder to remove an electron. It decreases from top to bottom as the shielding effect takes place and the atom is getting larger. Because the electrons are farther from the nucleus, they're easier to pull off. Electronegativity is that tendency to attract electrons when bonding. And the trend is electronegativity increases from left to right across a period because of the increased nuclear charge. Not only is the nucleus holding the electrons in more tightly, but it's actually able to attract another atoms electrons, and it decreases down a group from top to bottom because of the shielding. So as the electrons in the outermost levels are shielded from the nucleus, they're less likely to be held tightly. And finally, metallic character is the tendency to exhibit metallic properties. And for our purposes, metallic properties can be thought of as, for instance, uh, the tendency to lose electrons and form positive cations. So it decreases from left to right across a period, again a result of all of the other trends, and it increases from top to bottom down a group because of the other trends. So now let's try one. Put these elements in order of decreasing atomic radius, so starting with the largest and going to the smallest. So I have carbon, nitrogen, lithium, fluorine, and oxygen. What is the trend? Uh, atomic radius decreases from left to right across a period, and these guys are all in the same period. So that means that putting them in order of decreasing, lithium would be the largest and fluorine would be the smallest. Now let's try putting elements in order of decreasing ionization energy. Same elements, they're all in the same period. What is the trend? Ionization energy increases from left to right, so the highest ionization energy would be on the farthest right. So if we're putting decreasing, fluorine would have the greatest ionization energy because it's all the way over on the right, and lithium would have the smallest ionization energy because it's all the way on the left. How about electronegativity? Same elements, so what is the trend? It increases from left to right across a period, and we know that the most electronegative element on the periodic table is fluorine. So we're going to make sure that fluorine is all the way over as the largest electronegativity. So lithium would be less than carbon, which 
would be less than nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. And finally, let's do metallic character, same elements. What is the trend? Metallic character decreases from left to right, so the most metallic would be lithium, and the least metallic should be fluorine. So going from the smallest would be fluorine, and the highest most metallic would be lithium. And that makes sense because lithium is one of the alkali metals. So I'm going to um, end this by showing you this chart that I made and this gives you for each of the things that we're following radius, ionization energy, electronegativity, and metallic character. It defines it, it gives you the trend, and it explains why. So this is a very good study guide, something that you should be using for studying. And again, you will have one of these for yourself. And then just a summary of trends here. This particular graph shows electron affinity, which for our purposes is the same as electronegativity. So for now, this is Ms. Augustine signing off.